If you look up the Miller-Urey experiment, they'll always show you the equipment before it started, you know, which is this gleaming glass apparatus. When the reaction is over, the inside of the glass is covered with this red oily compound. And around the electrodes is a black carbon deposit. And that's where most of the carbon winds up. The amino acids they find are very dilute in the solution. And so Miller you know, actually did the experiment over time and took samples as he went. And he noticed in the beginning, the amino acids would build up in concentration, and then they would plateau for a while, and they would go back down at the end as the synthesis reaction slowed down. And so obviously something else was going on. It is, as you say, the amino acids are reacting with sugars that would be produced. Look how easy it is to make great globs of this stuff. The molecules of life. Most people think you get these amino acids and that's all that you had there. And then if you needed it to be chiral, they would selectively crystallize out. And then those crystals would find themselves uh, all purified and ready to go. These are such sludges that they're totally unusable. You basically get what we call a tar in prebiotic chemistry, which is just an undifferentiated mess of a whole bunch of organic molecules that we can't identify. We can't even use them in our laboratory, let alone on an early earth being done in a pool somewhere on the side of the ocean.